Hello everyone and welcome to another Custom Figure Showcase, but also the first in my now occasional wildcard Wednesdays, because I'm not going to do these regularly anymore, just when I want to put something out and I decided I want to put this out today. Uh, but also, a bit of a return to my uh, The War Doctors series, because I figured that this one uh, sort of fitted under that subtitle. I don't do that many War Doctor customs outside of that series, so I thought I would put it in uh, with that. It is another young War Doctor. Uh, and this is the young War Doctor as he is due to appear in this year's uh, coming The War Doctor Begins Big Finish series. Um, for a bit of background, as some of you may know, obviously John Hurt uh, sadly passed away a few years ago and uh, Big Finish, um, I believe due to license rights and things like that, couldn't continue the series um, and couldn't use the character. Um, but they have managed to not only uh, secure once again the rights to do it, but also, um, the War Doctor has been recast as such, um, but it is with the fantastic Jonathan Carley, whose uh, John Hurt War Doctor impression is absolutely second to none. Uh, I know there was a bit of a, a bit of a uh, debate about recasting the War Doctor. I will admit that I was slightly uh, unsure about it, but after hearing Jonathan's impression, it, I, if, if somebody hadn't told me that it. Uh, wasn't John Hurt, I, I wouldn't have noticed. It is absolutely fantastic. I cannot wait to hear it. Uh, but obviously this is going to be the, uh, a series set during the earlier periods of the War Doctor's life and as such he is going to appear younger in it. The cover already shows him younger um, but a little bit of trivia uh, which some of you may know. Um, in Night of the Doctor obviously we do see the young War Doctor and the image of his reflected face was used uh, using a still from the uh, BBC's adaptation of Crime and Punishment, which John Hurt starred in back in, I think it was 1979. Uh, and so they utilised the still of him from that to do the reflected young War Doctor image. Um, and then, obviously, now Big Finish have used another still from that same production to do a young War Doctor. Um, and it looks very good. I think it's come out very, very well. I certainly look forward to uh, seeing if they're doing, if they're going to just do the one cover, or if they're going to do some more individual covers. But uh, either way, it looks fantastic. Um, but as some of you may know, I previously did a regenerated War Doctor figure as part of this. Um, or uh, originally, I did it before I did the War Doctor's custom series. I then uh, did the War Doctor's custom series and included that into it. But for that, I made my own young War Doctor head. Um, which came out very well. It's certainly been a very popular head sculpt uh, of, that I've produced, um, but it, it didn't really have many uses outside of the regenerated War Doctor um, until now, because obviously with uh, Big Finish using the same stills from same sort of stills from the same production of Crime and Punishment, um, it does mean that this head now has a use for another young War Doctor, and here he is. So overall, it is just your standard War Doctor figure. This is actually one of the, um, uh, started out life as the uh, most recent B&M War Doctor release with the red uh, waistcoat. Um, so because this, uh, the cover for this story uh, is sort of slightly artistically done, um, it does leave a little sort of open to interpretation, I think, which is what I've done here. So, as the set is called Forged in Fire, I decided to go with a slightly more sort of flame orange waistcoat, just to, just to add a little bit of a difference. Whether or not that's actually what he's going to be wearing or not is, is, is uh, unknown, because that's not visible on the cover. Um, but I thought that would sort of look quite good in terms of, in terms of just sort of adding a bit of a colour difference to it. His scarf is actually one that I have uh, made a casting of myself, um, but on the cover, the sort of normal red herringbone pattern has been slightly sort of distorted by the design choice, which I'm, I haven't got a problem with, but it actually sort of lent to making it a slightly different design in that it's more sort of, rather than a herringbone pattern, it's got a slightly sort of dotted pattern, and so I, I've gone... Uh, with that on here as well, rather than the standard herringbone red, I've gone for a, um, a herringbone uh, red and white pattern. I've gone for the sort of dotted pattern, but I've also painted the scarf a slightly more orangey red than the usual burgundy red that it is. Again, just to add a bit more of a sort of 
different sort of flame aspect to it. And then of course the head sculpt is a um, casting of my young War Doctor head sculpt, which I've just obviously painted up and put on there. And yeah, I'm really pleased with the finished product. Um, partly because it is just nice to have a use for this War Doctor head sculpt again. You know, it, it, it's it's a it's a head sculpt that I'm I'm very proud of because it was sort of one of the first real custom head sculpts that I made, um, and it is one of those ones that you know it does have sort of sentimental value for that reason. So being able to use it for other for other things um, is always nice to always nice to see. And I, I love I love a, a good young War Doctor figure, as you will know. You know, I, I think they're very it's a very sort of um, interesting area. I don't think it's something obviously that we're ever going to see officially, so to have many different versions of him uh, as custom figures is great. This one is certainly going to look good in the lineup along with the rest of them. Um, however, one thing that I have done slightly, well not slightly differently, but one thing I have planned for is I still have the Dalek and box uh, that this War Doctor came in because I bought it as a set. It was just cheaper to buy it as a set. And so, depending on what is revealed in the stories, if there is a new special type of Dalek at all revealed in the, in the stories of the, of the uh, young War Doctor set coming soon from Big Finish, um, there's going to be four volumes, so it might come much later, it might come in the first one, I don't know. But I'm going to keep the box back, and I might do a custom boxed set for this figure, along with a custom Dalek. Um, but that is that is to be confirmed. It might not happen, but I've kept the box on the Dalek just in case of that. Uh, but that brings to a close another Custom Figure Showcase and another edition of Custom Figure Showcase, The War Doctors. As always, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. And be sure to check out the description below for a link to my Patreon. I'm doing my very first figure animation and you can get involved. There's exclusive content and rewards for those who do so, and funding my Patreon in any way gets your name at the end of my videos. I salute you all, and I will see you with another video very soon.